the American people need to understand what just happened. My, exactly. my Democrat colleague just asked the director of the FBI whether or not they are buying information about our fellow Americans. And the answer is, well, we'll just have to get back to you on that. It sounds really complicated. But I have other questions. I'm sitting here with my father. I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Sounds like a shakedown, doesn't it, Director? I'm not going to get into commenting on that. You, you, you seem deeply uncurious about it, don't you? Almost suspiciously uncurious. Are you protecting the Bidens? Absolutely not. The FBI well, does not the has no oh, hold interest on. in protecting You won't protecting answer the question about whether or not that's a shakedown, and everybody knows why you won't answer it. Because to, ev to the millions of people who will see this, they know it is. And your inability to acknowledge that is deeply revealing about you. But let's go from the uncurious to the downright nosy. How many illegal FISA queries have occurred under your leadership of the FBI? Well, there are reports that have come out with different numbers about uh, compliance incidents. More than a million illegal ones? Because that's what the inspector general said. The inspector general said that in the 3.4 million of these queries, more than a million were in error. Do you have any basis to disagree with that, that assessment by the inspector general? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, actually, that's a, com a correct characterization of the inspector general's uh, oh, well, findings on well, that. Well, the internet but, will remind you of I, that in moments. But, but let, let's now go to uh, what the, the court said. The court said it was over 200,000 that have occurred on your watch. W would, do you have any basis to disagree with that assessment? Again, I don't have the numbers I sit here right now. What I can Seems like you a number you should know. How many times the FBI is breaking the law under your watch, especially if it's like over a million to not know that number. And I'm worried about your veracity on the subject as well. Play, this, play the video. Letters for investigation of court? the Capitol. I don't believe to... FISA is remotely implicated in our investigation. Were you, you so, so there, Senator Lee's asking you whether or not FISA was in any way involved in your January 6th investigation, and you say no. It, was that truthful? I said that I did not believe it was. Okay, so now let's pull up what the court said, which was something a little different than what you said. So, so here, no, nope, that's not the right one. Yeah, here we go, right there. It says, the government has reported additional significant violations of the querying standard, including several relating to the January 6, 2021 breach of the Capitol. So I guess the question, Director Ray, is did, did you not know when you were answering these questions that the FBI was engaging in these illegal searches, or did you perjure yourself to Senator Lee? I certainly didn't perjure myself. At the time that I testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, uh, I didn't have that piece of information. I will add... Well, that was a court order. You didn't have that piece of information because the court hadn't yet rendered a judgment. Did you not know when you gave the untruthful answer before Senator Lee that this was going on? It was a, it was a truthful answer. I did not believe FISA had been involved in the January 6th But it was. So you didn't... The answer is the FBI has broken so bad that people can go and engage in queries that when you come before the Congress to answer questions, you're like blissfully ignorant. You're blissfully ignorant as to the unlawful queries. You're blissfully ignorant as to the Biden shakedown regime. And it just seems like it gets into a kind of a creepy place as well. Go to our, our next image on what the court said. Like, just so the American people realize, the, the court has smacked you down alleging or ruling FBI personnel apparently conducted queries for improper personal reasons. People were looking themselves up. They were looking their ex-lovers up. Who has been held accountable or fired as a consequence of the FBI using the FISA process as their like creepy personal snoop machine? There have been instances in which individuals uh, have had disciplinary action uh, and Amen. who are no longer with it. I, I can't get into it here, but we can follow back up but with don't you. But you yeah. don't you see that that's kind of the thing, Director Ray, that you preside over the FBI that has the lowest level of trust in the FBI's history? 
People trusted the FBI more when J. Edgar Hoover was running the place than when you are. And the reason is because you don't give straight answers. You give answers that, that later a court deems aren't true. And then at the end of the day, you won't criticize an obvious shakedown when it's directly in front of us. And it appears as though you're whitewashing the conduct of corrupt people. Respectfully, Congressman, in your home state of Florida, the number of people applying to come work for us and devote their lives working for us is over up over 100 percent. We're deeply I proud started. of them, and they deserve better than you. Time of the gentleman. Director, what's the difference between a traditional Catholic and a radical traditional Catholic? Uh, I'm not a, an expert on the, the Catholic uh, orders. Well, your FBI wrote a memo talking about radical traditional Catholics. I'm just wondering if you could define it for us. Well, what I can tell you is you're referring to the Richmond product, which was a single product by a single field office, which as soon as I found out about it, I was aghast and ordered it withdrawn and removed from FBI systems. You were aghast. Then why won't you let us talk to the people who put it together? We are working on finishing an internal review into what happened there. We have there. to wait. The, we, the Congress, and the American people have to wait until you do an internal review. It's not a criminal investigation going on here. An internal review before we can talk to the people who wrote this? We, when we finish our internal review, which will be very soon, we will come, come back idea before how the Catholics committee in America? and provide a briefing on what we found. Well, we appreciate and the we briefing, can, but we want to talk to the people who wrote it. Any idea how can, many Catholics there are in America, Director? Uh, no, sir. There's a lot, over 60 million. What percentage of those are radical traditional Catholics according to the Richmond field office of the FBI? Again, that product is not something that I will defend or excuse. It's something that I thought was appalling well, read, and removed it. Let's read from that product, page four of that product. By the way, the copy you gave us, when can we get a copy that didn't have all these redactions on it? So we can actually see what the American taxpayers were paying for to see their rights, their First Amendment religious liberty rights attacked. Let me just read from page four. Provide new opportunities to mitigate extremist threat through outreach to traditional Catholic parishes and the development of sources with the placement and access to report on places of worship. That's pretty fancy language for they're trying to put informants in the parish, in the church. That's what this memorandum said, Director, from one of your field offices. And you won't let us talk to the people who did it. Any response to that? I didn't know. I was waiting for the question. No, priest, do you think priests priest should be informants inside the church, Director? We do not recruit, open, or operate confidential human sources to infiltrate, target, report But that's not, uh, what, this, that's not what this said. It sounds like you were trying to do it in no, Richmond, Virginia. No, sir. No, sir. No, you sir. weren't? This, this didn't happen? You can assure us that this that, didn't happen? That product did not, to as best as we can tell, result in any investigative action as a result of it. None. You know what the motivation for this was? Why, why would they even think about doing this? You know what the motivation was? Well, again, I think that's what our internal review will find, and I'd rather wait until I hear what the results of that internal review Well, I don't need an are. internal review. I can read the document. I assume you can do the same, because it says right there on the same page. Richmond assesses extremist interest in radical traditional Catholics is like to in likely to increase over the next 12 to 24 months in the run-up to the next general election. Same paragraph, events in which extremists and radical traditional Catholics might have common cause include legislation, judicial decisions in such areas as abortion rights, immigration, affirmative action, and LGBTQ protections. It's politics, that's the motivation. In the run up to the next election and they talk about the border, affirmative action and, and, and abortion rights, it's total politics. I mean, I, I think it's interesting that affirmative, we just got a decision from a bunch of Catholics who sit on the United States Supreme Court relative to affirmative action. Politics was the total motivation here. And that's what's scary. That's what's, I think, so frightening and why we, why we, how this happens, I don't know. And five people signed off on it. Five people, including the chief division counsel at the Richmond field office. I'd like to talk to this lawyer. And a lot of people in this room went to law school, get a, con a course on the constitution, talks about the first amendment. I find that really scary. Again, when do you think we're gonna have a chance? How soon are you gonna complete this internal investigation so we can talk to these folks who put this together? 
I expect us to be able to brief uh, the committee on our internal review later this summer. Will that briefing include the names of the individuals who put this document together attacking Americans' First Amendment liberty? I'm not sure yet what it'll include because it's not done yet, but when it is, we will provide you with an appropriate briefing. What are you doing to fix it so this doesn't happen again? Well, we've already started putting in place a number of fixes, and those will be further informed by the results of the review. What are those fixes? More training, more things, more, you know, it's that same thing you told us on FISA. And while you may have some improvement, you still got 204,000 times the database was illegally searched. So what are the training and procedures you're putting in place? Well, I'll put the FISA stuff to the side. No, I'm just using that as an example of where you've that. told us the same thing, you fixed something and I, you haven't. I do not believe the number that you just invoked on the FISA side is since the reforms, the fixes, as you called them. Can we get uh, an unredacted? Those uh, post-date the numbers that you're referring Director, to. Director, can we get an unredacted copy while, while you're still doing this internal vest? Can we at least get an unredacted copy of this memorandum? I will find out if there's more of the, of the document that can be shared with you. We've tried to be very careful in what we redact, and there's always a, a basis for it. So let me go back and see if there's more that we can provide. But I, I know my instructions are to be as sparing as possible in the redactions that we provide. Gentlemen from Cal Thank you.